I'm gonna play a5. It's probably a terrible move, but let's do it. Play here to hit the pawn. This is a very weird position. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's got bishop f4 or something too. But if I get rook d6, I don't know what the heck this is. I'm, I'm actually kind of confused. This is a very, a very weird position. I think I go knight c6 and maybe knight e5. Yeah, this is really, really weird. Very strange. Thank you so much to Hockey Lord for the 12. Chess knight, 96,000. Yeah, let's go knight e5. Rook guards the knight. I mean, I can even go rook d6 here to hit the queen. Like, this is very, very strange. Because now I have knight f3. He has to go queen e2 and then I can kill him with knight d3. I can even go b5 maybe. See what happens. Knight d3 is good, but is it best is the question. Now, I think b5 is actually better here. I just want to go bishop b7 and, and fianchito. I still have knight d3 as well. So, I mean, this looks insane to me. I mean, I also have knight f3. I've got knight d3. I've got bishop b7. My active rook, by the way, a5. Brilliant move that I played. a5 with rook a6, rook d6. And now I think this is just checkmate. Better luck next game, dude. Okay, let's keep going. 